Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. I just wanted to start off with this, some very simple advice, which is simple but has uh, immense, immense uh, value as advice. And this is advice that comes from some of the scholars of the past, and you'll find it in the, in the, the books. And this, this particular knowledge is for the youth of Seattle, that uh, the youth, both Muslim and non-Muslim, but of course, primarily for the, the Muslim youth. What should you be focusing on? What should you be striving to attain? And listen to this beautiful statement of Sheikh Muhammad, rahimahullah ta'ala, qan, he said that no, that there are four things that you must know. He said the first thing is knowledge. And he said, then he began to describe what knowledge is. He said, He said that knowledge is knowing Allah, it is knowing his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's knowing the religion of Islam based upon the textual proofs, meaning the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knowing the Quran, knowing the authentic Sunnah knowing who Allah is so you can worship him properly and he said and that is knowledge he said Athani al amalu bi then he said the second thing, the second part of the advice is practicing that knowledge so when you gain some beneficial knowledge you have to begin to practice it of course and he said the third thing is calling to that knowledge, beginning to propagate and preach that knowledge. Share with the people the goodness. Share with the people the wealth that you have. The wealth and the, the happiness and the, the sp spiritual fulfillment which comes through knowledge. Knowledge of who your Lord is and how to worship Him properly. So then you begin to share that knowledge. You can only share that knowledge if you have it. And you can only share that knowledge if you're practicing it. Then he said, He said the fourth thing, and this is uh, uh, critical for us to understand, is that there has to be patience on this path. To be patient, patient upon the harm that comes with sharing knowledge. That people are going to reject you. People may try to physically, mentally, and spiritually harm you. People just may not want to listen to you. So maybe you'll end up talking to yourself. So this is uh, just a part of the way that it is, that it's a steep path. And this is very important advice that I hope we all can follow. And this is the methodology of the Prophet alayhim after salatu wasalam, that as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam narrated in a, uh, 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 related to us in an authentic hadith, that he saw that, uh, he saw that there was uh, uh, a group of people and that they were the followers of the prophets and they were the followers of Musa, of Moses والسلام, but he also saw that there was also other prophets and there was no one with them and another prophet and there might have been one or two people who accepted their call so if this is the case with the prophets, how about us? so we should not be discouraged but rather we should follow that beautiful advice gaining knowledge, practicing the knowledge uh, spreading the knowledge and being patient upon that path. And I ask Allah the Almighty accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.